grammar books. Can you see this? It's Michael Swan's Practical English and Usage. It's, uh... I don't like it that much, actually, but it's a good grammar reference. It's got everything you could possibly know about English grammar. I really like the series by Raymond Murphy. I think it's called Grammar in Action. And I use that all the time in my lessons. I like it because it's got, on one side, kind of uh, exercises, and on the other side, it's got explanations. And it's very logical, and you can just, you can either work your way through the whole book, or you can just pick something you're weak at. So yeah, those are my, Michael Swan is just the big, I mean, kind of like the Bible of English grammar, which you don't look at unless you um, have a particular problem and you can't find an answer anywhere else. And the Murphy is your day-to-day -day grammar exercise. It's like your, your grammar gym. So those are my two grammar recommendations. If anything, go for the Murphys. Find out what your level is. Go for beginner, intermediate or advanced. I think the intermediate is good for everybody because even if you're a quite advanced speaker of English, sometimes you still have mistakes with the, the basics. So, this has been Charles Wood English Teacher, your language tutor online. Good luck with grammar. Don't sweat it, you know. Grammar comes after a while, you know, just practice, 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 and one day, just like me, you'll be speaking, using the language, no stress, no sweat, no worries.